Medical reporter Emily Rice with this exclusive report. Bouncing baby Chase has given mum Lauren a bumpy start to motherhood. At her 20-week pregnancy scan, doctors discovered her unborn son had suffered a stroke. Pretty devastating for both my husband and I. Just the unknown um, was, yeah, quite scary. Chase is around one of 600 Australian babies who suffer a stroke in utero each year, which can affect the brain long term. Later down the track, they might have developmental issues things like cerebral palsy. Now, Associate Professor Atul Mahotra from Monash Children's Hospital and the Hudson Institute of Medical Research are running the STELLA trial to help tiny stroke patients like four-month-old Chase. The key intervention? Using the child's own stem cells as medicine. Stem cell therapy is a new avenue of potential therapeutic treatments that uses the body's own cells as the therapeutic agent as opposed to... Uh, drug introduced externally. At birth, the baby's umbilical cord blood is collected. Then scientists harvest stem cells from this blood. These regenerative cells are then infused back into the stroke baby in the hope of repairing the damage to their brain. So they are very rich cells. They have a lot of properties which we can harness. Chase is the first baby to have the new treatment. With the trial in its infancy, researchers cannot say with certainty that it has worked, but so far, he's thriving. The brain looks perfect and his development is amazing. Really good. So Chase is already rolling back to tummy both ways pretty proficiently. He's, as you can see, reaching and grabbing and everything goes in the mouth. Monash Children's Hospital researchers require more participants for the Stella trial. The first step is to raise awareness of this potential fetal stroke therapy among parents-to-be and also clinicians. So, uh, yeah, I think uh, there is hope. I'm incredibly proud to be a part of something that could help lots of future babies. Emily Rice, Nine News.